Uh, day three, uh, how's camp been going for you guys on the offensive side of the ball and yourself uh, so far? I would say it's been going well, uh, coming out here competing every day. Uh, it's a new team, new face, a new opportunity to come out, you know, show the world that, you know, with this new team that we can still compete. And from Marcus down to the O-line, everybody's on par, and, you know, we just come out with a new attitude. Coach uh, Ragon said, you know, everybody's doing their assignments, the ball's out on time, um, guys are running their routes, they know where it's supposed to be. Is that a carryover from a good offseason program? I would say yes, sir, from uh, OTAs. You know, we, we came in from the spring ball, introduced everything, and everybody was, you know, always excited. And, you know, like I said, the competition. So it's just getting everybody, you know, push each other. So that's something that I feel like is helping us now. This early in camp, um, where are you all at? You know, it's, it's a long way to go. Stuff's got to come together. But how, how, how is it, uh, you know, working out so far? I will say day three, you know, I feel like we're doing pretty well. But like you said, it's a lot of camp to go. And it's time, you know, we have to, you know, stay consistent and going in the right direction. Marcus and Desmond, do you see some things changing some of the offense? I mean, you have your base foundation, but where they can extend plays and the pocket, you see a lot changing it, 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 it specifically for you? Um, I would say, uh, you know, like you said, they're like dual threat quarterbacks, I guess you'd say. Uh, they can move the pocket, so that, that kind of extends things, like you said, and just to be able to do different things and be able to get open different ways is something pretty cool. Where do you feel like the biggest change, now they're actually in at least helmets in training camp, where do you feel like the biggest changes for you? The game has slowed down just a tad. <laughs> just a little bit, you know, a little more slower than it was last year because I'm a little more confident uh, knowing the game, uh, the, you, know, you know, seeing different defenses, being able to, you know, try and uh, break it down, but also, you know, it's, it's still a steady grind to try and move faster. So that's something that I've been working on. Do you feel like it looks like your route running is a lot to you? Is that something that you place an emphasis on, or is that just I mean, definitely, uh, That's what's, you know, going to move the chain. So to be able to run good routes and, you know, make, get the first down, that's something that, you know, I, need to, I feel like I need to do. When did you realize that it's, I mean, every every player says that, but like for you, when did you realize that actually it's? I would say once I kind of got most of the playbook down, you know, so that when we come out here and I already know what I have, I can start looking at what they're doing and what the def what the defender's going to do. So that's what I feel like, you know, that's a step in moving to, toward the game slowing down. How different is this year coming into camp? As you talked about your comfort level, can you notice a big difference of where you were to where you were a year ago right at this time? Uh, definitely. Uh, like I said, you know, the game's slowing down a little bit. Sorry. Uh, so to be able to try and dissect the defense now, that's something I feel like will help me win an offense. What are the, the goals for yourself coming in? You have one touchdown last year. Do you set a number for yourself going into camp in the season that you, you want to see double digits or more in that, or what do you have goal wise? Well, definitely, that's something that you know every practice I'm thinking about every morning. You know, uh, in the meetings, like you can't you can't have that again. So that's just like a steady thing in the back of my mind. You know, I tell myself every day when I come out here, you know, you have a bigger goal to achieve. So is it a number? Is it a number? Or you just it is, but that's that's confidential. <laughs> I mean, I, I, Felipe is an athlete, so I didn't think it was going to be a hard. It's, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's hard for him because he's already, you know, making plays out there. So he, he's a great guy. He's already from the quarterback room, so he's smarter. He's smarter than you know most tight ends are. So I think he's going to flourish. When you're thinking about goals on the game. What, what are you thinking? What walk me through that thought process? Of that? Just certain things of, you know, when I wake up, like, you have this to, you know, you want to reach. So always, you know, have that in the back of your mind. You know, when your legs might be tired, you have this to you want to achieve. And just things like that. Is it written? Is it mental? Is it on a phone? Is it on a mirror? Like, where? I, mean, I can't give you all the secrets. But it's de I definitely, I have it somewhere. I have it somewhere. And I, and I look over pretty pretty often. So, so it's like written down or typed out. Yes, sir. So, guardian comments for you. How, what's that feel like? Um, yeah, <laughs> but um, I wore something like that similar in high school. It's kind of like a, but it was thicker. So that one was heavier. This one was just a pad. So, I mean, we got to do what we got to do. So it is what it is. Coming into a season, I know y'all been asked a lot, and the expectations are low, and everybody says block it out, block it out, or use it. How do you do that when maybe on the outside everybody's saying this team, you know, is racing for the number one pick instead of picking a playoffs or Super Bowls? 
Um, I would say we know we have, you know, in our in our in between the buildings, we know what you know we're trying to achieve, and we know that we go out there and perform. It's not about what the other experts have to say; it's about what we do and go out there and show them. So that's pretty much it. Is there is there something you can get out of a year though? If it, you know, even even last year, which had a losing record, is there stuff that you can you know turn a success even if the record doesn't show it? Is there trying to be little victories in this too, even if the, the record doesn't show it? I mean, we're not thinking about last year. We're staying in the present, living where our feet are. So right now, I would say this team is worried about you know this walkthrough that we have later, and then we'll worry about you know each day what's going on. We're not thinking about the past or the future. We think about the present. Have they given you more of the playbook this year? I would say, uh, it's, you know, I would say, but more of a leadership role, not necessarily playbooks. Playbook is playbook. I mean, it's my job to learn the whole thing. So, how much more of it do you feel like you know than last year? Just, I, I would say, I wouldn't say more or less, just a better understanding. Better understanding. Yes, sir. What is that leadership role? You said they give you more of a leadership role. But did they tell you that verbally, or do you just feel that in the building that they expect that? I would say, kind of fifty-fifty, just being able to. Speak, be one of the speakers on offense, and, you know, one to be leaders of the team, and just being able to set the right example. Is that a comfortable speaking part? Is that a comfortable role for you in front of the team? Is that something you've done in the past, or do you have to kind of bring that out? Kind of. Kinda. Uh, it's just something that, you know, comes with adulting and maturing. It comes with it, so to be able to just do it and just take your, take your, sh take your guard down and just speak and just be, uh, be yourself. You know, don't do anything more, do anything less. Are you an encourager or are you kind of a hard ass like Matt? What do you, where, where do you come from? <laughs> I'm more of an encourager. Just, you, you can do it. You know, things, just <laughs> encouraging words, things like that. Just That's bringing everybody up. Where, where do you feel, I mean, where do you feel that adulting has come beyond maybe just leadership? Just taking care of my body, take, you know, the, the playbook, taking extra time at the end of the night to go through my plays. So when I come out here, I don't have as many, you know, mental mistakes. Um, in the weight room, getting stronger, just, you know, my, my nutrition, everything, everything kind of plays a part. A year ago, when we were talking about kind of that second year of Florida, when we created the color coded system on that head, did you do that again? To, uh, you I do? definitely have my schedule in my locker, and you know I try and stay with a regimen so that they can make me feel, you know, feel at my peak. Did you do that last year too, or is that something that you added this year because you kind of understood it? I would say last year kind of was up and down, and you know this year I'm kind of on schedule, and I would say I'm sticking to it. Did you talk to Larry about that again, or is that, <laughs> or is that you're like, I'm gooder than that? No, I didn't talk to him about it. Does it feel like for a year or two under head coach Arthur Smith that in general the team just has a better understanding of kind of his expectation and what he wants from the team? Uh, definitely. He made it clear the first day of OTAs, and everybody just understood it. So it was, it was a good thing for everybody to, you know, be on the same ship and, you know, work towards the same goal. What did he make clear? Like, what did he tell you guys? Ethos is, a, is an important word he uses. You know, it's about your ethics every day. Your ethics is what you know. What will get you to where you need to be? Does he get to go home this offseason to Philly or anything, or what did you do this offseason? <laughs> I went home for a little bit. Uh, you know, I got to go around and see see some different parts of the world. Did he? Did the coach talk to you about y'all about specifically about blocking out what people on the outside are saying? Is that something too he's addressed to you? We're not worried about that. Uh, we're you know he he's kind of joked to us in here. Look at predictions in the past that have gone awry. Does he, does he talk to you all specifically about that? Let's don't think about what anybody or don't listen to what others are saying. Uh, I would say he does. And, and also just being in this profession, you have to block out the noise because they're not the ones that's out there playing with you. They don't know what the play is. And you know, just to be able to worry about the main thing, that's, that's the most important thing. Hey, what are your battles like with uh, Richie? I kind of watched y'all a little bit today. <laughs> they're awesome. You know, Richie's a great competitor. We compete every day. Uh, Rich is one of my guys, so it's all love at the end of the day. Once we do step step out of the pads, and you know we'll laugh and joke about it, but when we're on the field, we, you know we're battling the hardest. This is maybe an issue. There's a play out there at his last team period that you were. In. Did you get your hands on that ball, or did that get tipped before it got to you? <laughs> well, we just couldn't tell yeah. from the bench where we were at. It just I, it was on me. I dropped the ball. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You said you went a whole bunch of places. Where's the most interesting place you went? Turks and Caicos. No, I haven't. The water was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, the water was probably pretty good, too. <laughs> First of all, how's the camp going? It's going well. Uh, it's been good. Uh, so third day, um, but it's good to get back out here with the guys, um, getting after it. Just kind of doing the ramp-up period, um, as Coach says. But, yeah, it's been good. Have you kind of been easing into it at all? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, just getting back into playing real football, you know, obviously it's been a long time for me since I did that. So 
Uh, but yeah, easing back into it. But it's been really good, actually. It's been really good. I might have missed, it, but I don't think we've talked to you really since last year. I mean, the last yeah. image we had of you was was on that right. card. I mean, take me back to that. Like, what what goes through your mind? Um, it was a lot. It was a lot at the time for sure. I mean, I knew it was something bad just off the way it felt. Um, you can always tell, but um, no, it was a lot. I mean, at that time, you kind of just think about, you know, how how can you come back from it? Really, kind of just think about a lot, a lot of emotions. Um, a lot of thoughts go through your head, but I mean, after I was able to get back in the building and start rehab, um, especially post-surgery, is really when you kind of lock in and you kind of get into a groove of things, um, and then things kind of get rolling from there. I think what a lot of like fans and media folks were saying was, man, this, you know, it sucks when anybody gets hurt, but sure. it seemed like the way you were playing and right. like kind of found that role and took a hold of that, I mean, yeah. did that cross your mind? Like, man, I kind of, I found my spot, Yeah. now this. No, for sure. I mean, just being in the system um, with the guys that we have, uh, with Coach Pease and everything, it felt like it was a really good spot for me, um, playing good football. And so it was just kind of unfortunate, but, um, you know, things happen. It is what it is. It's kind of like how the game of football goes, and I'm ready just to bounce back. What was what was that comeback like? I mean, were there any, you know, high points, low points? Was there something like, all right, first time I can go out and sprint or cut, that was yeah. like, oh, finally. Yeah, no, definitely ups and downs, but, yeah, you're right. Um, the biggest thing was kind of the first time being able to jog and then being able to sprint. Um, and then doing the lateral movement jumps. Um, so it's kind of like new new highs and new new big points every single time. So, um, but it's been really good. Um, it's good to be back out there playing football now because now that's the biggest thing and just getting comfortable doing that. Are you worried at all that the injury and coming back from it will set you back or do you feel like you can you know pick up where you left off? Yeah, no, the goal is definitely to pick, off, pick up where I left off or be even better than I was. Um, I mean, that's kind of been what I've been striving for. Uh, obviously, I missed those games, but other than that, just being able to come back this year um, in the same spot that I, I could be at. Yeah. Last question for me is just what's what's your sense of this uh, defensive backs group? I mean, you're you're one of the elder statesmen yeah. now. This group, a lot of new faces. What's your sense of the group? Uh, it's a really good group. Um, a lot of depth. Um, a lot of leadership. I think that was kind of the biggest thing that we've been missing um, over the past few years. Um, so I feel like it's going to be a really good group for sure. Right, so uh, simple but important question. So we get it right later. Do we refer to you now officially as Felipe Frank's tight end or tight end slash quarterback? Help us help us get it right. Uh I mean, I think whoever wants to create the perception, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I wish I had an answer for you. I mean, really, it's just whatever they ask me to do, you know, because I'm on special teams a little bit as well. A little bit of quarterback still, um, but, you know, mainly tight end. So a little bit of everything. So whatever you want to call it. When did you first know kind of the plan? I mean, did you have an inkling that this was the direction they were going to go last year? Uh, just coming into this year, uh, you know, just have various conversations and, and really just practicing a, little, a couple of it. Just really a little bit of everything throughout the offseason. So um, I had a little bit of an idea just coming coming into this uh, spring and into and, and camp and stuff. So, yeah, so, so I could practice it a little bit more before coming in. Besides, you know, playing special teams and doing some different stuff last year, when's the last time in any time in your football career that you were something other than a full-time quarterback? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I don't remember. I don't think I don't think ever. Really? Yeah, I don't think ever. So. So we're talking pee wee quarterback all the way through, basically like midway last year. Yeah, yeah. I was always a quarterback, uh, pee wee, middle school, high school, college, until I got here. So you never caught a, a touchdown before. I'm trying to think if I did in college. No, I didn't. No, I never caught one. So, I mean, is that something a goal maybe that you'd like to get one this season? I don't for know. sure, yeah, yeah, that, for sure. That'd be cool. Uh, I mean, but obviously, I mean, I know that it's just it's far, it's far fetched. There's a lot of work to get done. Um, you know, it's just really just getting the basics down is something I've been focusing on, like really the whole camp. Um, but, you know, I got great guys to learn from. I got Kyle, um, you know, Ferg, uh, Hesse, and just guys who've done it before. So I have a great group of guys to just learn from, and Coach Peel. And the other coaches just helping me out, so it's been really fun just learning. Well, we talked to Kyle, and we've talked to I've talked to Drake London and even Coach about what you're doing from quarterback to tight end. They say it's very impressive. That's one of the words, and they talk about how athletic you are. First of all, where does that athleticism come from? Are you some, like training all the time? Like, what are you doing? And also, what does it mean to hear that from the guys that they're impressed with what you're doing? No, that's awesome. I mean, obviously, from your teammates to hear that, um, that's cool. But uh, I would say, I mean, just I train with my brother. Really, you know, he's always just been. You know, the, the person in my ear really pushing me to just be the best, you know, all around athlete I could be. Whether I was playing quarterback, not playing quarterback, it didn't matter. Just really just pushing myself in every asset of my life, um, not just football either. So um, that's somebody I lean on. But I guess my athletic genes, maybe my pop, maybe my mom, I don't know. <laughs> so it just, I guess, comes natural. I don't know. And what have you learned from Kyle Pitts so far? I mean, a lot. Uh, just really just, I mean, from the basics is like getting into a stance um, to route running. To really just how to carry yourself, bringing the energy to the huddle, um, just knowing your personnel, knowing the plays, 
Uh, just let me from from something so basic to to the ground up. Really, just trying to learn everything from him. I mean, and those other guys as well, because you know, because some of those guys have been in there blocking a lot. Learn blocking from him and Kyle as well. So it's been fun. Like I said, just learning from everybody. What did you learn from your brother? What like when you guys were working together? Did some of played this position? For yeah, a while? yeah. My brother's played it. I mean, he was uh, played it in, in college and and now in the league, going into his fifth year. So. Uh, I mean everything. Uh, we were like this off season, just studying, really, just like run game was something I had trouble with. Uh, just being like honest, so that was something that it's, it's different. Like when you think about it as a quarterback, to when you like you get out there as a tight end and like actually go do it. So uh, that was something that like he helped me out a lot with in the off season was just like really understanding the run game and kind of how to go about it, like and not just like running to people and like having actual steps when you run and hand placement and stuff. So a lot of stuff. How did he do that? Was it? Yeah, how do you, how do you yeah, do yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, two ways. I think one, obviously, on the field was something that he taught me, and then just, I mean, he has a nice uh, place in Cincinnati that we just sat and watched film. I like watching him. He's a really good blocker, really good player. I just watch him and like how, how he goes about his work and how he really just does his business on the field. Uh, he's a good person to watch and learn from. Did he, I mean, when you tell him, hey, I'm actually going to move to tight end or, or whatever this is that you're doing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, what's his reaction? Because he's been around you for yeah, uh, it's funny, uh, but it's, it's 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 cool though. He's like, obviously, like me and his mindset has never changed. We're like super similar, and, and it's not it's not about me. It's not. Uh, I know that, and I know like you know, it's it's bigger than me, and it's about really just number one, being a team player, not being selfish enough to sit there and think about myself, but at the same time, go try to help the team win, go do what I can do to to make the team and. And, and, and those type of deals. So you said it was funny. Like his reaction was funny. What was funny? Yeah, it was just funny because it's like it's something I've never done before. Like that's what the funny kind of like. Oh, you're on tight end. Like it's just like oh, like, it's just funny. So, um, but we joke about it because it's, it's it's not like like I said, it's not about me or what I think or what anybody else thinks. It's about you know the people inside the building, what Coach Smith thinks, and and those guys, and really just learning and and respecting and being the best teammate I can be. Do you really. think you can add some value even just into that tight end room? Because it's a quarterback, you'll know some of the routes and things like that that they might be looking for. So can you also help those guys as well? Yeah, I think that's like, that's something that's been like super, uh, like on my side, I would say. Going into the tight end room is like, I know concepts. Uh, I know like how coach wants them to run. And uh, I'm not saying that I do it perfect every time, but at the same time, like I have an idea, a general idea of like what I want to do when I go out there and how to win and and like, you know, what know what the quarterback's looking at um, on certain coverages and stuff. So. That for the, in that instance, it's helped me out a lot. How's it been wearing the Guardian cap? A lot of the guys have mixed reviews on it. <laughs> Bobbleheads, we've heard. Uh, uh, what do you think of it? I think it's okay. I mean, my girlfriend makes fun of me for wearing it. <laughs> she thinks I look funny. So, I guess everybody has mixed feelings. I don't care. I just go out there and run. <laughs> one, one other thing on the on the switch. Was it hard to accept at all switching over to tight end? Because there have been cases in the past where quarterbacks are asked to play or asked to try different positions that it didn't go as right. well. I mean, was it hard to accept that at all? What you had been doing, they saw it different. Yeah, no. Um, I see what you're saying. No. Uh, no, it wasn't hard to accept it. It's like I said, I've always like, no matter how much like I work at quarterback and, and do that and do that, I've always like been a team team guy, team player, and especially like when you the, the, like the quicker you can like realize it's not about you, like the easier it is to just say like let me go out here and do what they're asking me to do and do it to the best of my ability. And so, um, no, I don't think it was. It wasn't like a hard transition mentally. And then like once I got into that like tight end room, it was just like about how can I learn and how can I learn from like some of the best guys that do it. To just be the best I can be, so that's kind of what my mindset was. Did you give it up on me? Talk to any of the guys who have done it in the past. Whether, I mean, like Logan Thomas is a great example. Right, right, right. So there's guys throughout really the last 30 years. Or so. Did you talk to any of those guys when you did this? No, I haven't. If I'm being honest, no, I haven't talked to any of them. Really, just my brother and some of those guys is really the people I like. I lean on and coaches, obviously, to to do, to, to learn. I guess. Do you give up on being a quarterback? What was that? Have you given up on being a quarterback? Is that still? No, I don't, I don't give up on anything. No, no, no. I was going to say, do you look at the quarterbacks when you're lining up? At yeah, 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 a little bit longingly, like. Eh. No, and I still, and I, and I, no, and I still, I still, I still, I still practice it. Um, mm -hmm. Still practice tight end, quarterback. Uh, still practice it. It's not, you know, it's in, in my head. I just, I try to be the best at all positions, everything that I'm asked to do. And you know, if I'm asked to do quarterback up. Uh, Five percent and a ninety-five percent tight end, like that's okay. I'm gonna still work hard in that five percent of playing quarterback, and, and still work on my craft there as well. So. But I don't know if you if you still have a, a dream in your mind that I could be an NFL quarterback. Is that still does that it's not go fade away, or do you still have that dream? Uh, no, I don't know if it's like a. I'm trying to see how to word it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's not like something I forgot about. Like I said, it's just something that I work on my craft 
and it's not something I'd ever give up on or just like I said it's, just, it's about the team it's not necessarily about me and what I think it's about like whatever they ask me to do that 5% work hard at it 95% work hard at it whatever I'm asked to do I'm working hard at it in my craft and trying to get better at it so I want to go back to what you're talking about with the off season how different was this off season in terms of training in terms of getting your body a certain way that was different than maybe years in the past yeah I think that uh like really just you know putting more weight on um if we're just like being obvious like you know putting more weight on if, if I'm playing tight end uh was something that I tried to focus on and then you know building a little bit more strength route craft uh but really just having the humility to just like learn from people like I've never had to go run a route so it's like you know have the humility to like step back and you don't know it so just like learn and watch people watch film of like route running instead of like watching a I still watch the defense but watch it like how do I like get open on this type of leverage, that type of leverage? And uh, I've never had really to watch that before and like route crafting, but it's something I focused on a little bit this off season as well. They're trying to get my routes better, win and man, you know, those type of situations. So that's something I've worked on. How much bigger are you? Uh, like weight wise? Weight wise, yeah. yeah I'm I'm like, uh, no, I'm like 237, 237. So something like that, yeah. Forgive me if I'm asking you to repeat yourself, but when you signed here originally, right. had conversations with the team, did they, did they say, you know, this is, type, this is the future we might see for you? You know, because we like your athleticism. Did it come up? You're saying like originally when I first signed? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. I can't even remember, to be honest with you. No. Um, like I said, I signed as a quarterback. But once again, you know, when, like, obviously when, you know, the coaches made the ultimate decisions and whatever I, asked, I got asked to do, like, I'm not sure exactly what point it was, like, throughout the point I was here. Um, at some point during the year or maybe last uh, last spring. I don't, I don't know. I can't, like off the top of my head but at some point the conversation started being had and then um i just started working at that like that craft so like i said it's not necessarily out of the table i still work like five percent here whatever there but whatever i'm asked to do it doesn't really matter i just work at it so. who comes to you with that with that question with that conversation is it arthur is it you know is yeah no i mean um shoot arthur's the head man so i mean yeah that's 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 who i listen to that's who and uh, that's nothing i mean i listen to coach peel coach you know uh, is anybody? I listen to all the coaches. Right. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't really matter. Obviously, Coach Rags. you don't remember who first broached the subject. No, I don't. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know. I don't want to sit here up here and assume. I don't. I don't know. I just like I said, whoever comes to me and says something, I'm like, yes, sir. Let's you got it. It. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so that's just kind of how it goes. You're not discouraged. But I know we had a high-profile case of a guy trying to move from quarterback to tight end last year in Jacksonville that didn't work out. When you, you know, has, has, does that? Frighten you at all that, that it's a di how difficult the transition is, or and is anybody joking with you that you're hey Tebow or calling? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, absolutely not. That doesn't right. frighten me. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that now. Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave, leave it at that. that. I'm gonna leave it with that. Now. Has anybody called you Tebow? On the team, joking around with you. No. Okay. You're wearing 15. <laughs> I was gonna say you've been got the number. I mean, are you worried now that we're gonna put that out there? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, there's the Florida part of it. Yeah, yeah, and the 15. Yeah, I can see I it. I can see it. No. Uh, how's uh, how's camp going so far? It's going good, man. We got uh, some guys going out there competing. Um, I think we're doing a good job all all around on offense, defense, and special team. We're competing. Uh, but it's been hot, so. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Atlanta. Right, right. I saw the competition today. Uh, what's it like going against a guy, Drake London, learning the game, but a big body guy matching right. up with him? Uh, I think he's been doing really good the last three days. Uh, you can tell he's a, a sponge. He likes to learn, ask questions, and, and take things in, take information in. Um, I've seen some stuff from yesterday, and he came out here and did it, did exactly some of the things that we talked about. So he's. He's been a sponge. He's been taking things in, but you could tell he got he got some stuff about him. Big 50-50 guy and a big body. So you get out there and press him. He he know how to get he know how to get off and he know how to adjust to the ball down the field. Yeah, you and AJ being a really dynamic combination. How do you guys play off of each other? Do you prefer a side? Uh, does Dean P's defense kind of put you guys on a side, or are you following best players around? No, nah, well I don't think we got that deep into it yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but. Uh, he's a really, he's a really good special player. Um, I remember there was times where I was like that, so I know how the matchup goes and things like that. So he's one of the younger, bright stars in this league, and um, I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but I'm pretty sure it'll be, you know, game by game. Is there situation. a time just from you competition wise that you'll say I want him? Like maybe there's a receiver you see that you match up against that you say that's a guy that I really could, uh, you know, use my skills for. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it'd be like that during the season or something like that, and vice versa. He'll he'll probably match up better with certain people, um, and I'll probably match up better with certain people. But right now, we we just playing our sides and doing the, you know, just working on the things we need to work on. I'm still learning the defense, so uh, when I get that full speed down, I'll be even better than what I have been. So. Speaking of competition, I think it was on Instagram you posted a video racing against some guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, What's the story with that and who, who? because it looks like you won. I mean, who'd you beat? <laughs> I won that one. We had two <laughs> I, We had two races. Uh, we had a competition down in um, Austin. My agent does his thing every year, bring all his clients down there, and we got some really good players and some really fast players, and everybody wanted to see who was the fastest man. I kind of jumped in last second. You know, I'm an old guy compared to everybody else. Everybody was probably like 26 and younger. Uh -huh. So I jumped out of there. I won the first race. So it was against some good people. Well, some people, some good people. I should have. <laughs> I should have jumped out of the way. Are you, right. are you being, like, nice by not naming these guys? Or I don't know. This is this very magnanimous of you. But who who were these 26-year-olds that you were blazing by? He has a 23, 22-year-old. Like, I ain't going to call them all. I ain't going to call them. They want to. One of them want the next race. That's why I ain't gonna really. Okay. You know what I mean? Michael want the next race. Okay. Michael who? Parsons. Okay. That's my okay. guy though. Micah. Oh, Micah. Okay. But he's fast. He's fast. Yeah. He beat everybody the second race. I think you might have tagged him in that one, but there were a bunch. No, of I tagged him. I ain't gonna call everybody out. No, I. That's <laughs> fair enough. Um, the, the other thing I just want to ask you about. I've seen you a couple of times just in the defense backs group, like when it's not your rep, kind of giving guys pointers, things like that. Do you find yourself? Pulling guys aside, showing them things, or are guys coming to you? What, what's that? Yeah, like? guys come and vice versa. I go to guys and ask them, you know, things to critique as well. So I'm not just the person that want to be the teacher. I want to be the student as mm -hmm. well. You know, it's still some things I'm learning, some things I can get better at. Uh, so overall, I don't know everything. So I still ask AJ. I still ask some of the guys. You know, what do they see, and vice versa. They'll ask me, or I'll tell them some things that I seen.